All right, let's take a quick look at the rest of the stories that made headlines in the business scene. Kenya should not be left behind in the adoption of blockchain technology. This is according to experts who say the future of Africa's digital economy lies with increased use of technologies such as cryptocurrency and other platforms to drive growth. Uh, it's a big space uh, in terms of finance in, in all sectors, in terms of transport, finance and uh, other areas. Uh, we are also looking at uh, the NFT space. There's a huge knowledge gap that has to be closed um, across the world, especially here in Africa. So including the knowledge gap, like education is like profoundly important, right? And that's why our education initiatives like Binance Academy and our masterclass programs have literally become the largest provider of crypto education on the continent. Elsewhere, Harambe Investment Cooperative Society has issued the first batch of title deeds to 100 members in Kantafu along Kangundo Road, Machakos County. Chairperson McLeod Malonza says the move is part of Harambe's mission to help the government in achieving its affordable housing agenda. So we need to look at how we can be financially independent and stable, because that is the only thing. That is the only thing to nangangania hapa. Tunamuka saa kumina mbili, wangina unamuka three, wangina unatoka kasi four, wangina unatoka saa tatu siku, to be independent financially. Finally, Kenya and Japan in partnership with Jetro will hold the second Japan Africa Public Private Economic Forum in Nairobi. The business collaboration event is expected to bring together people from the highest levels of the public and private sectors in Japan and Africa to discuss how all these sectors can work together to achieve concrete business outcomes. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.